Hello to all my dear loving kids. Uh, how are you all? I hope that you all are good and healthy at your home. Uh, children, so today in this video, I'm going to start with your lesson number three. That is more on paint. This is your lesson number three. Okay, children. So children, as we have already studied about the paint program, you have already uh, know about this program. Uh, paint software you must have uh, drawn the pictures on computer uh, this software helps you to draw pictures okay and you can color them as well so you have already worked with the paint program isn't it children so again let us take a quick recap okay of what we how we can open the paint program those who do not know only for them okay so children here this is our taskbar. What it is? Yes, this is our taskbar, children. Here, this software. This is the paint software. Okay, just look at the pointer. Okay, the mouse pointer. Wherever it goes, just pay attention over there. This is your paint software, children. So the first method, what you can do, you can directly click on it over here. Okay. Now when we click on it, the window appears on the screen. Okay, children. Now. Close it. The second method to open the paint window is that what? See children, here on the desktop, it is the icon is present over here. It is the shortcut icon. Okay, this is a small blue arrow has given over here. It means it is the shortcut icon. Okay, you can directly click on it. Okay, children. Now, again, if I double click on it, the paint program opens okay children now you know how to open the paint program okay so uh, we already know how to draw the things on computer and how to color them okay in the paint program here you have been given the white screen okay see children these are the five groups which are present okay the clipboard group image group tools group shapes group and colors group so five groups are there which is present on the ms paint window okay and this home this view these are what these are the tabs these are what children yes these are the tabs okay first of all uh, let us draw uh, something on the screen and then i will tell you that what we are going to do in this video in the in your book uh, image group is given what it is given over here yes children image group is given on the we have studied about the five groups clipboard image tools shapes and colors so in this image group children okay in this image group we will study about the selection tools okay now children first let us draw a paint okay it is given on page number 32 this is how i will draw here on the screen okay i will draw a joker face okay now for this first i will take this oval tool from the shapes group this is the shapes group i will take this oval shape left click on it okay just select it and then keep on pressing the left key and just move the mouse okay just keep on pressing the left key and move the mouse okay now next eyes again i will draw eyes again i will select the oval tool and i will draw the eyes okay now again i will draw the eyes okay i've drawn the eyes now i will draw the mouth with the help of this curve tool okay now i will draw this mouth keep on pressing the left click and this is the way i've drawn the mouth this is the curve tool with the help of this curve tool i've drawn the mouth of the face okay now cap triangular cap okay so i will select the triangle from the shapes group and i will draw a triangle shape cap over here okay children so now 
I will draw some stars in between. This is how I will draw the stars in between the cap. Okay. So children, this is how. And now I have to color it. So I will use this fill with color tool in the tools group. In the tools group, I will use this fill with color tool and I will select the red color. Okay, I selected the color and now I will just I will just bring this tool, fill with color tool inside the cap and I will just click on it. Okay, so the color has been drawn. Okay, now in the face, I want to color, use this color light yellow okay and i will just fill it with that okay so this much i have done children okay now this is a drawing let's take an example this is a drawing okay now what we will do we will study about the image group what is the use of the image group okay now if we want to make changes on any part of our uh, drawing then we can we have to select that area first what we have to do we have to first select that area okay if i want to resize it if i want to make copy of it if i want to uh, remove it from um, here from to other place so i can do it with the help of this selection tools as well okay so here children in the image group in your book the first topic is image group so in the image group here this is the image group here it is the select tool okay so what we have to do in the image group we have to select the we have to use the select command now in the down arrow there are two types of selections rectangular selection and free form selection children two types of selections are there rectangular and free form selection now rectangular selection what it does it selects the area in rectangular form okay a dotted uh, outline box has been made in uh, in all the over okay it covers the uh, image in, with the help of a dotted line in rectangular shape okay and free form selection free form selection we can select any irregular portion of our uh, of our drawing okay irregular portion without having any shape okay so let us first use this rectangular selection how it does okay so two types of selections are there rectangular selection and freeform selection now let's select this click on this now what we do just left click on it and see the dotted portion the dotted portion over here it means we have selected now let us select this area uh, with the free form selection okay in rectangular selection it selects the area with the rectangular shape okay now in free form selection it selects the irregular portion of area okay like i can select the part of our drawing in the like this okay so this is the way i have selected the area with the help of free form selection okay children so these are the two ways in which we can select the drawing okay rectangular selection and free form selection okay children now here comes the topic resize okay now you know how to select the drawings in the drawing area okay now we will study about the resize resize means to change the size of the image okay to change the size of the image okay now we can use the resize option to increase and decrease the size of the drawing okay now how we can resize a drawing or image okay so for this let us read out the steps and i will show you how you can do this so step by step i will show you the practical okay so the first step just look at your book take out your book and then look at the first step select the whole or a part of an image okay so now i have told you that you can select the image with in two ways okay then rectangular and in free form so just click on this select tool and this se rectangular selection now select this select the area okay here i have selected the area okay in rectangular form now 
if i want to resize it the first step i have selected the part of the image okay now what i have to do i have to go to the home tab it is already opened home tab it is already opened okay now what we have to do we have to click on the resize option in the image group that is the resize option okay here children in the image group resize option is given over here okay now what i would do now resize and skew okay the first let us do the resize okay now here what we have to do we have to select uh, we have to enter the percentage or the pixels of the image how much enlarge how much you want to increase it or how much you want to decrease it okay now here by default 100 pixel 100 percentage is given means this image is of 100 percent horizontal and 100 percent vertically okay now if i what I have to do if I if I want to increase the size. So I have to increase the percentage number over here. 100 is by default. If I will press 200 with the help of number key, I have pressed 200. Okay. Vertically, it will automatically get changed. Only one value you have to fill. Another value will automatically get changed. I have filled 200 in horizontal part. The vertical part has automatically gets changed. Now, if I click on OK, see the size of the image has increased. This is how you can increase the size of the image. Okay. Now, if you want to decrease the size of the image, again, what you have to do, the area is selected. Okay. This rectangular portion you can see in the dotted form, it is selected. Now, if I want to decrease the size, again, you have to click on the resize option. Again, here the horizontal and vertical pixels are given. Okay. You can select it with the pixels options also. But here, percentage by default, it is given in the percentage. Okay. So, by default, it is written 100 over here. Okay. 200, we have a enter the valued okay values we have entered 200 so the image get increased if i want to decrease the size of the image suppose i want to write down 50 percentage only see the vertically it will automatically get decreased okay the value is entered automatically in it now click on okay see the image the size has decreased okay children so this is how you can change the size of the image okay you can increase it and you can decrease it with the help of this resize option which is present in image group okay children now next comes skew skew means it gives the if, if slanting effect to the image if you want to slanting it left or right it will give you that uh, effect in your uh, drawing okay now what again what you have to do again the first step what you have to do you have to select the part so how would you select the uh, image you would select it with the help of the select tool in the image group selection tool is there click on it now rectangular selection okay and just select the portion of the drawing okay i have selected this portion of the drawing now what i would do again i have to click on the resize option because inside it skew option is also given okay so click on this resize option okay here resize option is given okay now here this c at the above it is resize and at the below look at here it is skew skew option is also given over here now what you will do again you will enter the value here by default it is zero because no slanting effect has been given to the drawing so if you want to give a slanting effect so I, what you would do suppose i want to i want to enter the value 50 okay now okay and just click on okay See, this is the slanting effect. Queen means slanting effects has been given to the image. If you want to bring it again in its uh, original uh, position, then what you would do, you would click here. At the top, this is the undo button. Okay, what you would do, you will press this undo button. Okay, the image will uh, come back to its original position. Okay, children. Now, now you must have know how to resize and how to skew the image okay to uh, first we have studied that image in the image group we have studied about the selection tools which is used to select the part or the whole image okay then we have studied that after selecting the image or the whole part we can uh, resize it we can skew it okay so this is how we have done the two things do practicals we have uh, done uh, uh, to resize and to skew okay now 
we will study about the next topic that is flip or rotate option okay children now flip and rotate you all must know how you can flip or rotate an op uh, an object rotating means to move it in all the directions okay now change the position of an object in all the four directions to rotate it in all the directions okay to change the angle of the image okay so let us do it again now what we have to do we have to again first step we have to select the image so just click on this selection tool this is the rectangular selection obviously we want the rectangular selection okay now just select the whole image i have selected it okay now the next part what we will do we will click on the home tab see home tab is automatically clicked this is the home tab okay now next third step click rotate in the image group here resize option is given and at the and and it's here at the bottom it is given the rotate option okay now click on the rotate option see a drop down menu appears okay now rotate 90 degree means it will rotate your image in the 90 degree okay in the right side rotate left 90 degree means it will rotate your image in the left side 90 degree it will make it will rotate it in angle of 90 degree in the left side okay now rotate 180 degree means it will bring the image downwards okay just it will ulta it will do it ulta okay now just take this first rotate 90 degree okay rotate 19 degree just click on it see your images get rotated in right direction in 90 degrees okay now if i again rotate it now this is the first option rotate right 90 degree okay now go back to the undo position this is the first position okay now let us see what rotate left 90 degree does okay just select select this image and then click on rotate option and then click on rotate left 90 degree what it does it it rotates the image in the 90 degree angle in which direction left direction okay now if you again want to back uh, want to make it back on the original position just click on this undo button okay now it will come back to its original position now again select select the image and now look at the option of rotate 180 degree what it does when we click on see what it does it just rotate the uh, image in 180 degree okay in downward position okay now click again if you want to back it, if you want to uh, bring it back to its original position you have to click on this undo button we have clicked on undo button okay children so this is how you can do this okay now let us uh, do practical with the more options here rotate now let us see what flip vertical does flip see flip vertical mean it it creates the mirror image vertically means it will uh, uh, make the position of the image in downward okay mirror image it will bring vertically means downward okay and just undo just do it undo again okay i have undo it now again i am selecting it now let us see what flip horizontal does click on rotate option and flip horizontal what it does it creates the mirror effect in the left direction okay so flip flip means uh, see rotate means it is uh, rotating your image in all the four directions okay uh, in 90 degree in 180 degree in left 90 degree okay it is rotating it's, it 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 makes your image to move in all the four directions but what flip uh, option does flip option it uh, it gives the image and it gives the image an emma, uh, a mirror effect okay uh, the flip effect we use to give the mirror effect to our image okay children now you know what is the use of the rotate and flip option okay so again bring it to the undo it will bring the image to its back uh, to the uh, its original position okay children now okay now the next option that is what that is crop what is the next option children crop okay now crop means to delete or to move a selected portion of a drawing or the whole drawing okay children so what i will do here first i will select the 
image okay i have selected this image okay now uh, how it will select the image we have selected the image of the part of the image we want to crop okay and next step 2 home tab click home tab home tab is automatically clicked step 3 click crop from image group okay now if i click on this image group it is cropped okay so this much part i have cropped from the entire drawing okay let me give you one more example okay just uh, i want to crop this cap from the image okay now i will select it okay now i will just select only this much portion and i will just click on the crop option see this much part has been cropped okay now what it does the that particular part has been cut off from the image it has been cropped okay children means the portion which we want only that much portion we uh, can have on our in our drawing area okay so again if you want to bring it back to the original position click on the undo option okay so it will bring the drawing in its original position okay children now i just hope that you all have must understood the image group we have uh, in this topic we have covered our image group okay this is the image group we have studied about the selection area okay in a selection what it does it helps in selecting the image or a part of an image in two ways rectangular and free form selection okay next we have studied that after selecting a part of an image or the image or the the whole image what we can do we can resize it means we can change the direction we can increase or sorry we can increase and decrease the size of the image also we can skew it means we can give the slanting effect to our image okay next we have studied about the rotate option that after selecting the image or the part of an image what we can do we can rotate in it in any direction okay so how many options are given uh, uh, under this uh, rotate it it is being five options rotate right 90 degree just look at here rotate 9 9 rotate right 90 degree rotate left 90 degree okay rotate 180 degree flip vertical okay and flip horizontal okay so this much and next we have studied about the crop option also okay we can cut off any part of a of the image or the whole part of the image from the drawing area so children now you all must have know about these things how to use uh, these options in the drawing area in ms paint software okay now what you will do if you have computer at your home you will do practical okay you will go through the book and you will read out the instructions all the steps have been given in the book you can easily do it okay and also you can watch the video very carefully according to the steps i have done the same way you can do it in your Uh, book in, in in your computer practically okay if you have computer at your home very good okay now those who do not have what they will do they will just look at the book all the options all the pictures have been given over here and you can also watch the video practically i have been shown i have shown you here how you can perform the practical okay um, so this is enough for today in this video children we will be meeting soon in the next video and we will cover the rest of the part in our next video okay so uh, till then stay safe and stay home